Hey guys, Pastor Jim Thomas from the Village Chapel, bringing you your daily devotions here from my library at the house. Um, Want to share with you this morning from Vil the Village Chapel's Lenten book. Uh, some of you received one of these when you were at the Village Chapel when we last gathered. And uh, the rest of you, though, you could get one if you would like. It's free. Just download the PDF from our website, thevillagechapel.com. Uh, for Lent at the Village Chapel, we've been focusing in on 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 5 through 8. And instead of uh, denying ourselves something, we're, we're looking at a time when the Apostle Peter instructs his readers to add something to their faith. So uh, the verses go exactly like this. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness and to goodness, knowledge, and to knowledge, self-control, and to self-control, perseverance, and to perseverance, godliness, and to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, love. If you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. I love the way he says some of that stuff there. It's just amazing. There's seven things to add to your faith. And you're supposed to make every effort to add these things to your faith. It's, it's, it's as if it's, uh, you do it with diligence and discipline, like somebody, like an athlete training for uh, the Olympics or something. And you add all these seven things. And the week uh, that we're in right now, the fourth week of Lent, uh, we're actually focusing in on perseverance. With each of these uh, weeks, uh, you have a, t a village chapel painter and a village chapel poet that has put something. There's a... There's a piece by Kim Thomas, there's a piece by Ed Nash, a piece by Mandy Hort and Charlie Peacock, and then we come to this one this week by Elizabeth Foster Detweiler, and it's on Perseverance, and there's a little poem there as well uh, by Julie Sumner. Uh, Kim writes here under Perseverance, she says, while self-control is a call to wisely enjoy good things, perseverance is a call to endure bad things. Some days the glory of God seems everywhere, but other days, persevering through our own sin and the effects of sin around us will be a battle for each thought. And I know that might indeed be the case with many of us uh, in a season like the one that we're going through. Uh, she goes on to write, Thankfully, Peter's imperative to make every effort to add perseverance to our faith is not accomplished simply by our willpower, but it is enabled by the power of the Holy Spirit. And she's so right about that. God empowers us always to do that, and the Holy Spirit working within us, uh, redirecting our affections, uh, re-informing us, helping us to, to see things God's way and to want what God wants. Um, she goes on to write a little bit about Elizabeth's painting here, which shows uh, the dogged perseverance of birds in pursuit of a loose kite. While the birds fly with the wind, the kite stays in the air against the wind, both partner with the blessing of the wind as they fly. Similarly, our perseverance is powered by the ruach, the wind or the breath of the Holy Spirit, sometimes urging us forward, sometimes keeping us from falling. And then that little bit of poetry, that beautiful uh, use of words by Julie Sumner, help us, Yahweh, obey your command. Help us to be truly unafraid and give us the gift of unkillable faith that our hope in you might overgrow the fear and grow stubbornly greener year after year. That is really well said. Uh, when you turn the page on each of these pages in this booklet, you find uh, some selected scriptures that Kim has put together and curated for us. Uh, she's chosen Hebrews 12, one at the top of the page there on perseverance. Therefore, since we're surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance, the race marked out for us. I love those verses. I love the way it's said there, throw off or cast aside or lay aside everything that hinders us and the sin that so easily entangles us. Again, athletic imagery of somebody being tripped up by something that's sort of ensnaring their feet as they attempt to run with perseverance, the race that is marked out for us. Pray the Lord will give you um, the strength and the courage that you need today. As a matter of fact, let's pray now. Lord, thank you for this day and the opportunity to know you, uh, to serve you, 
and to also serve our neighbors. I pray, God, that you'll send us out, whether you send us out uh, physically or you send us out with telephone calls or texts or emails, and help us, Lord, to be good neighbors and love each other well this day. And may we run with endurance the race that is set before us in Jesus' name. Amen.